Hey there, ready to master weld constraints. In this quick tutorial, I'll show you how to use weld constraints. All constraints do is make it so you can move on acred models around with multiple parts. Let's dive in. First, I'll create my model. Now let's test it and try to move it around. As you can see it fell apart. This time let's add constraints. You don't need to group it but I'm grouping it to make it a little easier. I will add a part in the middle of the model so you can see the constraints. Now add a weld constraint. Before I weld the model, I'll rename each part differently. Now go to the properties of the weld you added. Attach part zero to your main part. Then add more welds depending on how many parts your model has. Mine has 12 not including the main part. When you're done, go to the weld and connect part one to one of your parts. Make sure each part is connected to the weld. When you're done, you can test. As you can see, this time I can move the cube without anything falling apart. Shout out to Miss Click for the video idea. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. See you in the next one.